Pex Beer is going to be my last beer of the night. Matt's Burning Roses by Stone. This is an uh, Imperial Cherry Wood Smoke Saison or Farmhouse Ale. Um, honoring his memory, Matt, Matt Courtright. Um, apparently, he was, uh, I guess, from watching Greg's beer reviews, I, don't, I wish I'd, you know, looked at it, but I wish I would have, you know. Uh, apparently, Matt Courtright was like a really, um, a really good. A really awesome brewer, brewer at Stone, and he was like, "This is like a beer that's in his that's in his in his memory, I guess." Um, from watching Greg's beer reviews, Greg Greg says that um, he apparently like the uh, uh, one of the things that that was brewing beer. I forget what it's called. Like the I forget what it's called. Like ex, like ex, exploded. And that's why he died. Um, so that's why he that's the, why why this is in his memory. This was about um, seven dollars at High Beam for the single, ten point five ABV. AB, so this should be pretty good. Like I, I have a personal Stone obsession. I, I love their, you know, I love their brewery, <coughs> and you know, in in my bedroom I have, you know, on my on top on top of my desk I have you know various bottles, empty bottles just from Stone. Let's go ahead and um, and I'll probably add this to my stone collection of uh, beer. So let's go ahead and try this and see what it's like. I've never had it before in my life, and just recently, you know, like Hy-Vee is where I usually shop because uh, they have a really awesome wine spirits place or wine spirits department, and uh, that's where I typically get get my beer unless I go to like Beertopia or or Bricks in uh, Omaha. And you know, I saw this in the in the, in the double bastard. Um, in their singles of stone, so I figured I had to I had to buy it. It's a good amount of smoke roll roll out rolling out of that bottle. And I had the stone double bash before this, and that was just like, wow, that was great. Um, I poured that down the center, and yeah, that's I mean down, I tilted it and poured it, and it's still got like a three fingers of it's crackling. Um, Three fingers of um, cream-colored, spongy head. Uh, the body is clear, sporadic bubbles. I can see like a lot of like little particles. Like there's no like big chunks, but I can see just like a bunch of particles fl floating around in this beer. And yeah, there's some chunks in there. It's like a golden color. You know, it does have that you know that, uh, that, that farmhouse color. Like they can the, the farmhouse saisons can range from like you know being orange to Ooh, it smells, it smells nice. Um, oh, my lord. Um, this smells wonderful. I, I mean, I, I stopped talking about the appearance just because I could smell it from where I am. Um, <sighs> smells spicy. Not not like, you know, not like chili, not, not like chili spice, but like, you know the coriander spiciness that you will get in these typical saisons, or hef and, and and also the hefeweizens. White brightness, red crust, sweet sweet barley malt. I am getting that that you know that that like cherry wood like I don't, I don't know what cherry wood would be but um, I'm getting like that like that I don't know how to describe it but. It's, I'm getting what whatever that is, like that smoky ishness. So, uh, God, I can sit, sit here and smell smell this all day because it just smells wonderful. The the smell definitely is definitely a it's definitely an, an A plus. Let's go ahead and try this. Definitely, it isn't, it isn't like a typical saison because this has more hops than any than, than any other saison I've ever really had before. Sweet bready 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 pork barley malts, white bread, white bread crust, you know, um, but there's more to it than that. Uh, you know, there's like a sweetness there, that's for sure. There's also like a West Coast hoppiness there, which I think it's great. Like, you know, 
this beer makes me like makes me want. You know, I don't get the, you know, the, the the stones saison like the the these stones that the steep these stones saison. I don't get that. Um, it isn't distributed too much my state. Um, <clears throat> so, the, having this makes me makes me makes me want that. Um, there's the there's various stone beers that I have fantasies of having. Yeah, I'm getting like that smoky, like aged in woodness. Um, you know, I don't know how to describe that, but I've had that aspect of various different beers. So I've had many, many beers, okay? Like I've had various different beers. Uh, and I've had many that have been like aged in like bourbon barrels or you know, smoked, you know, from in cherry wood or like some something like oak barrels, you know, whatever. This is a little different than like the oak barrels, you know, like the 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 stone oaked arrogant bastard, you know, that has like a oaky, woody thing going on with it. This has like a woody ish, smoky aspect, but it's hard to hard to describe. So this is another one that if you see, Matt's burning Matt's burning roses to to buy it and try it, um, you know. Um, it's like it's really full. Like there's various different things to this. Yeah, you get like a a sweetness there, like the barley malt bready sweetness. That is wonderful, and you get your like your uh, spicy coriander ishness that makes it a wonderful saison. But on, on the same token, you also have like a really west coast. Herbally grassy, straight, yeah, straight, straightforward, hoppiness. This is the most hoppy saison I've ever, I've ever had. I mean, like the my favorite saison that I've had, you know, possibly except except for for this one, is Boulevard Tank Seven, and that is not as hoppy as this. But I might like this better because it's more hoppy and it's wonderful. Uh. It's just like it's a bunch of it's like a ton of things in one picture, and it's just one, which is great. And you know, you can't, you know, I I think it's a plus personally. Uh, I forgot forget about my feel. Soft, sticky, um, semi dry. Drinkability is very high. The the ABV being ten point five, I get none of that. So you know, it, I get none of it, no, no flavor, no sting from that, from the alcohol at all. So stone being able to cover that up, you know, if if you ha if if there's if there's a brewery that has a beer that's like elevated alcohol and yet can they, they can cover it up in the taste, that's you know that that's that's some good work, you know. It's medium, like midway drinkable, um, refreshing, definitely. Definitely, um, you know, after, you know, on a on a hot day, it'd be pretty good. You know, and you you know, I might you know steer towards uh, steer steer towards other things. But this is really 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 good for that. Um, I'm gonna go A plus here. Okay, like I'm I'm loving this so much. I guess like I've never really had like a hoppy saison as this is. So, to me, this is just like A plus. If you see this. Matt's Burning Roses, buy it and try it. It's definitely, definitely worth it. A plus for me all, all the way.